Okay, so you gotta tell me about these physical fights that you and your mother are getting into. Okay, so like she's hit me with um, a pan and it's bent me, like it, the pan bent. I've gotten hit in the head with a, a vase um, and it shattered all of my head. Oh, my she punches me. When did that start? How old were you? I say about my 16. 16? Yeah. And what makes your mother so upset? I guess my my mouth, my me being talking combative with her. Mm -hmm. um, but when she drinks, like anything can set her off when she drinks. You said could be my mouth. Do you have a mouth? I got a mouth. Okay. I, I will admit that okay. I'm I'm smart and I'm okay. saying what's on my mind. Uh, at least you can own that. Okay, my producers say her words cut deep. Um, what does she say to you? <sighs> she say that I'm a bitch ass like, hey, who, who says that to your, 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 yeah. your kid? Oh. I'm a bitch that, that she, sometimes she hates me, but I ain't gonna be without her. It's like, how can you do that to yeah. your own kid? Was she always like this with you? It, got, it wasn't bad. We, of course, mother and son, they get into it here and there, but it didn't really get bad until, like, I'll say 2016 when she, um, when her and her girlfriend, she, they broke up a 10 year relationship. So after then, it was kind of a spiraling down. Is that when she, from your point of view, she started drinking? She's always drunk, drunk here and there occasionally and stuff, but I, I can say that that took a lot on her. A team a lot. That's a lot, so I, I don't blame her, but it's just, don't take it out of your son. Yeah. Okay. Um, you lived with your grandmother for some time, right? Um, yeah, well, I was like around um, 89. Yeah, so why were you living with her? My grandma, was, she was just my, my best friend. I, um, she just get, she got me. I was I was able to start my girl, she, she's not here no more, so. <sighs> she was my best friend, so I was able to go to her and talk to her about it, really anything. So that was just my go-to person. And of course, that's my grandma, so she she spoiled me. So I can't say I'm very rotten spoiled. And yeah. I live with her because I had better friends than with my mom. When I was here, my mom and girlfriend was always moving every single year, so I can never have a, I can never make, make real friends at school mm -hmm. because we was always moving. Yeah. So I was like, now let me go back with my grandma and go to a school that I've already got friends at and I already have relationships there. So that's got why it. ultimately I went back with my grandma. Did you ever live on your own? I moved out, I best say about 2020, um, Right when the pandemic happened, um, me and my mom got into it really, really bad. Um, she came into the room with an extension cord. She was drunk, of course, and was was playing, and she started hitting me with it. And, um, but she was jokingly, but it was hurting me for real. So I was like, chill out, chill out. I'm not, I'm not in the mood to play. And then, so me getting upset with her, then she got upset because I'm upset. So it went from there to my mouth was smart, so I probably said some slick and she got to hit me again and um, got to throwing my trophies around that I've earned, um, mm. throwing my stuff around, destroyed my whole room, like emptied out my drawers and we got into a real bad, um, and my, my best friend even tried to get in between and she slapped the out of him. Oh, wow. And why did you end up moving back in? Le the lease was up and it was time for me and my, my best friend to go our own ways. And also, my grandma was sick, so I was like, I'm, I'm going to stay and um, help out with her. I said, a week after I got back, my grandma had fell on the ground, and she needed um, help getting up, so I'm asleep. Um, my mom, all I hear, my mom yelling, come on, come on, come on, come on. And um, I go and help her and trying to get my grandma up. I guess I wasn't moving fast enough for her, and she, she, she's like, hurry, hurry up. And, and so I, she didn't hit, hit me in my mouth, and we, we get into it. And then I, I said something, I don't know what I said, but she ended up grabbing the vase and hit me on the head with it while my grandma is on the, on the ground still yelling. Like, <sighs> and that's, that's one of the last memories that I got of her. Because after that, she ended up going to the hospital and, and she never, never came back. Got it. What do you want from your mom today? I just want her to take accountability and to own up. Better communication. I just don't. I don't want everything to have to turn physical, and I just want. I don't want her, her to just have to hit me all the time. Yeah. So the it's the anger, the physical stuff. Yes. The hitting. Okay. You heard you brought up your trophies as well. You want her to stop breaking your stuff? I, yeah, my stuff. I worked hard. My defense me. I I have to act. So I worked hard. Those were the first place, second place trophies, and I don't even have those now. Got it.
For everyone, I think it's time to meet Gina, your mother, to share what she has to say about this. Everyone, please welcome Gina to the show. You gonna start? Gonna take you gonna already start? You gonna take accountability? Oh no! For what? Accountability for what? Mentally, physically abusing me, like all that. Are that, you gonna that take accountability for things that you do? Our inputs are together, so I'm here. See, this the problem. Sit down. What you gonna do is sit down. We, we can both no, sit down. No, you're gonna sit down because you what? listen. I'm not doing that with Just you. I'm sit gonna, down. Uh, we're gonna sit down. Let's we'll sit down. I'm here to work on this for us. Mm -hmm. So, how do you feel about? Thank you for being here, first of all. How do you feel about what was just said? So some of the stuff was um, merged together. Okay. So some of the stuff did happen, but not in the in the order in the fashion that he said it did. I understand. And so I'm a reactor. So he's look how big he is. You're my son. I'm your mother. But that doesn't give you the. the you point I'm a, you gonna let me speak? Are you gonna but let you, me? You don't have to put your hands on me though. Yeah, but you're not gonna get in my face. You stand up and you get in my face. Like I'm your friend or somebody that you want to whoop their ass you on the street. Like, I like your friend all the time though. And so say, say less. And so when I start treating you exactly like your mother, you're not. Like it, but you can, you're not gonna like my it. mother doesn't mean that you have to be stern with me. Yes, I do. It does. Yes, no, I it, do. That does not mean yes, that. No, it yes, doesn't. Yes, I do. It doesn't. Yes, I have to be stern no, with we you don't. because your, your mouth, your mouth. My you mouth is my, the, the same mouth that I got. Is the same mouth you have. I got it from you. Well, you're an individual. Uh, Gina, I want to know how do you feel when he called the cops on you? I was, I was done. I was done. I wanted him. I, he didn't even have to do that. I just asked him to leave. It All wasn't you just had to you, do you, you was hit, leave. You physically hit me with a pan and a bit. I had I a bruise. I still cook with it. It hurt. Yeah. Okay. And you. Okay. And you. You're proud about that. I am. For what? Because of every. I'm not proud about hitting you. You. It's a reaction. You made me do that. I didn't have to do it. I didn't. I yeah, didn't make I did. you. I hit you. I, yeah, I did because you're not gonna get in my face, make me feel intimidated. You. You a big dude. You're six three. So did I really just get in your face? Walk up to you and just got in your face? No, that did not happen like that. Yeah, that's normally how. It no, happens. no. That's normally how it happens. No, you be you be mad. So because... you, I just go off on you for no reason. You am, don't even. Am, am, am I? Am I? You gonna hold accountable? When are you gonna be accountable for your actions? I am accountable. No, you're I not. Snap, you sit here blaming down. me for everything. You're blaming me for everything. What about you? What do you do? It's not all on me. It does. It takes two. But who's getting, oh, physical? getting physical? Oh, y'all getting physical. Me, because I wish you would hit talk. me. Yeah, I wish you I, would I, hit I, I wouldn't hit you. I wish you would. I wish you would. And I won't. You know, you know, you know you, what's going to happen if you do? Gina, do you get physical with anyone else in your life? No, because nobody else talks to me like this. I don't have to deal with nobody the way I have to deal with him. So, no, I don't. Mm -hmm. Your son brought up a lot of drinking. Do you still drink? I drink occasionally, yes. Okay. But, yeah, I was going through some stuff. And yeah, I was, I was drinking every day. But that's not, uh, everything didn't happen because I was drinking. Gina, I want to know from you, what kind of stuff were you going through at that time? So I lost my mother. I lost my brother nine months apart. Okay. Then I have to deal with this. I grew up with my mother and my brother. They are dead. We are supposed to be as one. I'm not supposed to have to deal with all of that backlash and all that talking that he does. Yeah. I'm, your, I'm your mother. I am your mother. Okay, and I understand that. And I ain't never called you no bitch ass. You have come, what I got to lie for? What do I have to lie for? You might not remember because you were drinking, like I said, but I remember everything you had said to me. Bitch, you had a bomb. You, you, no, I you, 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 no you, bomb. You, you, I saw it the other day when we got into it and you, you kept attacking me, almost broke my window, but throwing stuff you said that, that I ain't that I, I, wasn't I said gonna you're not going to be without me because what, well, I mean that, that? what I mean by that, what I mean by that is I'm your backbone. You are, you are nothing without me with, in the sense of Having somewhere to go. So having somebody to pay your phone bill. Having somebody to pay your car note when you don't want to work and when you go in between six or seven jobs in three months. Those Jaquan, I didn't have to do that. You're grown. Support you? She supports me, but... Has she always supported you like that? Always. Yes, always when I'm and he up. do that because he knows he got somebody to lean on, depend on. I don't have nobody to depend on. I'm it. I'm it. Well, it seems like you always depend on me because you always beg me to stay. I could have been moved out in June. Yes. Like I've been saying, I could have been moved out. I had a good job, but I could have been moved out and still moved out right now. For the love. But you always for said, let's go because it's financially yeah. better. Is it financially better for us or is it by financially better for you? Jaquan, you missed what your mother said. When you said, why do you want me to move back in, you skipped her finances, but she said three times out of her mouth, for the love, for the love, for the love. Did you hear her say that? I didn't. But you, I, did, you, I, didn't, you didn't I, hear I, that. I didn't. You didn't. She just said it right now. I see the breakdown and how y'all are already quickly. Y'all don't hear each other. There's been anger in this relationship for many years. And y'all stopped hearing each other a long time ago. Y'all stopped hearing each other. You don't hear her. She don't hear you. 
and y'all just go back and forth. And that, that, I can admit that that's, yeah. that happens a lot. I saw, I saw it. I saw it right now. That's why I just asked you if you heard her say the love, and you just said out of your mouth right here. You didn't hear that because you trained your ears to not hear anything of that nature. And what you're going through, I understand why. If you've been hit and you feel like someone's going to attack me, of course, and vice versa. I know for you. You've had your, your challenges of losing somebody that you were in a relationship for 10 years. You have these things, and so he goes off with his mouth, and then you stop hearing what he's actually asking for, and it starts to turn into a fight. Do you think you uh, deserve an apology? Absolutely, because he never apologizes. Okay. He never apologizes. Vice versa. Do you respect your mother? I do. I do respect I her. I can't tell. Mm -hmm. What do you respect about your mother? She was a strong woman, and she raised me by herself with my grandma. But just because I'm sm I get smart as now doesn't mean you have to physically hit me. I 100% agree. He also said earlier that you broke his trophies. Well, um, and I went to, went to him to get the trophy fixed. I was going to get it fixed. He threw it away. I know. That's the love but, part. Yeah, I was going to get it fixed. That's the I love did part. break it. I, there's no question in me that there's love in your heart for your child. What is the issue here is the physical abuse and the lack of respect. You've acknowledged it many times that your mouth is bad. It, it is. It is. And I watched your action when your mom came out. You did step up before she even came out. You stood up before she could even get a chance. Maybe I shouldn't have, shouldn't have stood up. Who are you telling that to, me? I shouldn't have came at you like that. I'm so sorry. I apologize. I know I accept that. I appreciate you for apologizing for that. I really appreciate that. Yeah. yeah. He just apologized to you. If you want your son to really be around you, there has to be respect that has to start that growing goes in both your heart. Ways. I, I get it. You, you heard what I did first. I had him apologize to you and acknowledge his mouth and how he stood up. So now that he's done that, can you understand that this is a 23-year-old man? And if you really want him to be with you, because y'all, he's all you have left, there's going to have to be more honest communication. And you're going to have to understand his feelings as much as he understands yours. Absolutely. Every time you hit him, you know it hurts his self-esteem. Every time he jumps in my face and gets to talking to me crazy, what do you think it does to me? I know that. That's why I had him apologize first. But now, I'm asking you as his mother, can you say I got to give him? Every time you hit him, it's hurting his self-esteem. Okay, man, we know what happened to broken black men in this world. <laughs> do you want that? No, I don't. Who are you telling me? No, I don't. I don't want that. And I do apologize for, for hitting you. I'm doing the first step. So what can you do from here? Because this is the thing, and I'm going to be real with you. I know you're grieving, and I, I can see the pain. And I also heard a mother crying out saying, I just want you around because I love you. I heard all of it in one. And you've lost your mother, you've lost your brother, and I don't want to see you lose your son. Right. And for your son to bring you here, it means that we're getting closer. Yes. And he apologized, and he knows he has a mouth. I know where he got the mouth from. <laughs> but it's going to be up to you to say, we can work on it from here on out. I'm sorry. I love you. I love you. I love you too. I don't want you to lose your mom. I know there's love here, and y'all can do it, OK? I wish y'all the best of luck. Want more Unlocked Phones, DNA Reveals, and Family Drama? Then make sure you're subscribed to The Karamo Show YouTube.